on 1st April 2020, Bedford Hospital and Luton and Dunstable University Hospital came together to form Bedfordshire Hospital's NHS Foundation Trust. Despite unprecedented pressures placed on our hospitals, everyone has played their part in bringing together services and teams. We have bought into the best of both approach and together we have established a culture of collaboration and mutual support. Increasing development opportunities for staff. Improving our joint governance structures. Improving services for patients and creating a better hospital environment. In paediatrics, we've been working across site to improve care for our patients. Um, this includes cross site governance and directorate meetings, but also how we improve our CAMH pathways and a number of our nursing care plans. Both hospitals have embraced the learning and it has established great communication links between members of the team. Clinical specialists from the MDT are liaising with colleagues both from Luton and Bedford, looking at gaps in the service and linking in with these areas with their own expertise and experience. These areas include epilepsy, safeguarding, CAMS and also the endocrine team. Training resources and opportunities are being shared for both nurses and medics, giving a lot of new opportunities for development. Over the past 12 months in the imaging departments, We've been working very hard to bring the complex service on two sites together. I think one of the best examples of where the service has already improved is for paediatric patients. Often there'd only be one paediatric radiologist on a site who wasn't always available. By pooling our resources, we're able to send images to the other site for review or able to consult on the telephone, which means we can make appointments more quickly and we don't keep people waiting and delay treatment. The merger has provided a fantastic opportunity to develop the respiratory physiology service across both sites. This has included the restart of the service at Bedford sites. This has been done through the sharing of knowledge, experience and innovative ideas such as the setting up of the drive-through lung function service at Bedford and Luton sites. The rotation of staff across sites has built in resilience and allowed us to cope with the pandemic. One of our key objectives when the organisation merged last year was to strengthen the estate on both sites. We know we've got some crumbling estates in parts both on the Bedford site and the Luton site. In the last year we have worked to increase car parking for both patients and staff across both hospital sites, delivering in excess of 400 spaces. We have delivered improvements to both emergency departments, increasing waiting areas and delivering state-of-art facilities, and we have started working on a 10-year long-term plan for how we will use infrastructure across both sites. We should all be very proud of everything we've achieved together over the past year. However, our story doesn't end here. Over the next year, we'll begin to embed our new joint values and put them at the centre of everything we do. Artificial intelligence is being introduced in our trust to improve the care of our stroke patients in the form of a new technology that offers quick diagnosis and introduce quicker treatment for our patients. We will continue to innovate, collaborate and implement changes that help our patients, visitors and colleagues. Sharing what we do well. And learning from what we can do better. Supporting each other through the tough times. And celebrating during the good times. Together we are Beverage Hospitals NHS Foundation Trust.